Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and today we're going to be going over the Jeep Latitude Plus slash Altitude. The reason that I posted that is not a lot of people know about the Altitude package, but that basically just blacks everything out. It is a like side package on the Latitude Plus package. Kind of strange, but let's just get right into it. So first and foremost, we're gonna do a walk around on the Jeep, then we're gonna take it out to see how it drives. As always, a big shout out and thank you to Larry H. Miller, Jeep Chrysler here in Sandy for providing us with a vehicle. If you're on the market for a new Jeep, definitely check them out. And then if you are stopping in for the first time, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed. Under the hood here of the 2019 Cherokee, we have a 3.2 liter V6. That's the most powerful engine option you can get in the Cherokees. You can still get a four cylinder engine if you want a little bit better fuel economy. But in terms of fuel economy in this V6, it's going to be good for 27 on the highway and 19 around town. Power figures are going to be 271 horsepower and then 200 and 39 pound-feet of torque that is all routed through a nine-speed automatic transmission. Now this is the main reason why I picked out this altitude package over just doing a regular latitude plus and that's because of the blackout accents so you can see everything on the like front end grill everything's all blacked out we'll go over the rims in a minute but they've kind of made the headlights darker you still get those nice LED accent lights with the projector bulbs fog lights down below but just everything has been blacked out on this altitude package and that's the reason why I like it is those blacked out looks definitely look a lot neater than when it's not blacked out now around the side here we have these 18 inch blacked out rims so it's just gloss black with this altitude package and then it is 225 millimeter tires in the front and the rear other than that it's a Jeep and they look cool. This is the key fob for the Cherokee Altitude and you can see there's a couple different functions on this, lock and unlock. And then you have your remote start, so you press that twice. First time will lock it. Second time we'll start the Jeep right up. You can hear that 3.2 liter V6 come to life. And then if I press it again, that'll shut it right off. The last function is just that tailgate release. So if we press that, that'll pop open the tailgate. Now walking inside, we can see there is a ton of storage space here. Little power outlet right there. They actually put the floor mats back here. Most new vehicles, they do that. And then you can see under here, we actually get a spare tire. Not a lot of manufacturers are doing that. And then there's kind of like a little bit of extra storage here on the sides, which is kind of neat. They just create all these little storage pockets. And then you can fold these seats down if you need a little bit of extra storage space. Now, if you're wondering how to close the tailgate, just press that button and that will close the tailgate or you can use the key fob again if you'd like. And as the tailgate's closing, we can see the blacked out 4x4 badging. Jeep badge has all been blacked out too. And then these new signature LED taillights in the back. Got little reflectors back there. Parking sensors are integrated into the bottom of the bumper. And then we do get the receiver hitch with this particular package. Dual outlet exhaust and then you can see the tires from here. Not super wide, but doesn't need to be on an SUV like this. And I like this angle with the Cherokee. The new Cherokee body style looks really sweet and that kind of spoiler they do in the back just makes it look sportier. Coming around to the side here, we can open up the door and we can see the panel in the rear. So we get a little bit of leather with some black stitching on it. And then there's kind of like this black trim here that's gloss black. Window controls right here, got your regular door handle. And then coming over to the seat, sorry about my shadow, but you can see this is leather here, but then there's these cloth inserts on the Latitude Plus and the Altitude packages. It's just kind of how they set it up. And then we can see right here, we've got this little cup holder that you can pull out. There are a bunch of little charging stations for the rear passengers. So you can see a little full power outlet, and then you do get some vents. Legroom is pretty normal for the segment here. It's pretty roomy. That's gonna cause a little bit of an issue, so make sure the third passenger in the middle is short. Coming around to the side, we've got keyless entry, so one touch to lock it, and then to unlock it, you just have to put your hand on the back of the door handle, and that will unlock it. Now, we can look at the front door panel. It looks pretty much identical to the rear, so more of that leather, that gloss black paneling, all of your window controls right here, mirror controls, and then you see a speaker for the sound system. Looking over at the seat right here, high shadow again, just kidding, but we can see the controls here for the seats, and then you do get lumbar controls right there, and then the same kind of like two material seats so leather bolsters and then with like little cloth inserts and the bolsters are pretty wide so they're comfortable to sit in i like the design of the seats they look really good and then if we come over here we can see the pedal layout just down below light controls leave in automatic mode as always those are for your fog lights that's to open up the tailgate hatch and then the steering wheel is adjustable via that little handle right there now to start the cherokee all you have to do is put your foot on the brake push the push start and getting into the cherokee is actually really easy step and height is perfect most suvs are Low on fuel as always, but the gauges will do a little sweep. 
Now starting here we have our controls for the cruise control and then that's for the center screen and then you've got your Bluetooth voice commands and then this does come with some safety tech like blind spot monitoring so you can see that little triangle right there in the mirror that'll illuminate if someone's in your blind spot or you can make it make a chime as well. Here is that center screen and you can see over on the left hand side you've got the tachometer on the right hand side you've got the speedometer and then there's this little menus that you can scroll through. I'm just going to scroll through these so you can see the different bits of information you can see, but pretty standard. It's the same in most of the Chrysler lineup. I was going to go to the touchscreen, but random storage thing. Neat. But here is the touchscreen system. So just like its bigger brother, the 8.4 inch, this little seven inch display is really responsive. It has all your controls. You can see here, you do have your heated seats, heated steering wheel, and or on the touchscreen, why don't we go to the backup camera? Got some trajectory lines that'll automatically pop up when you go into reverse, but really good quality on the backup camera. But this touchscreen is really intuitive, really easy to use. It's definitely um, one of the best, if not the best in the business, you know, in terms of just the usability on it. And then it actually does have drag and drop function. So if you hold things down, you can put whatever you want in that sidebar. Now we have a whole slew of buttons down here, parking sensors, and then you've got your hazard lights. And then we've got all of our climate controls here. It is a dual zone climate. You do get auto stop, start, stability control, and then your analog radio controls are flanking either side right there. Then we do get some little charging stations here with a 12 volt under that tab. And now let's go over all of this stuff. So first we've got our shifter for that nine speed automatic transmission. You do have a manual shift mode if you wanna shift the gears yourself. A little parking brake, electronic parking brakes right there. Get okay, your terrain select that comes with most of the Jeep. So you've got your auto, snow, sport, sand and mud modes. So that'll basically change throttle response and how the four wheel drive system interacts and all of that, depending on which mode you go in. We're just gonna leave an automatic mode to keep things simple since as you can see, the roads are very, very dry. We have some cup holders right here. Center console, more of that black stitching. Everything's blacked out on this. A couple more charging stations. So you can see in the Cherokee, you can literally charge a whole army or slew, I should say, of devices. And while we're on the topic of storage, let's open up the glove box here. So even more storage there in that glove box. And then it's all soft touch just above it on the dash. So wrapping things up, this is kind of like your middle of the line kind of getting closer to like your higher end interior. This package is probably the package that most people will go for because it's not quite top of the line, but then it's not a base model either. And especially with the blacked out accents, it looks really neat. That all being said though, let's risk it on uh, being stranded with no gas and take the 2019 Cherokee out to see how it drives. Well, knock on wood, I don't have any wood to knock on because this doesn't have any wood trim. But I have not gotten stranded yet with one of these videos and vehicles that don't have like any gas on them. So please Jeep Cherokee, don't be the first, just saying. That being said though, initially setting off in the Cherokee, it feels like a really like small and zippy SUV. Like I just feel like it, it just feels like small, like it doesn't feel like some big cumbersome SUV. Definitely feels smaller than the Grand Cherokee. Now first setting off here, ride quality is actually really smooth with the Cherokee. And in terms of road noise, there's not a whole lot that comes into the road. They've done a really good job with insulating the cabin on this new Cherokee. Now in terms of visibility, visibility over the hood is really easy to see over and you got like a good seating position for that. The blind spot monitor is going to help out with both sides, but you can see out of both sides pretty well. Over your shoulder and all that, visibility is pretty well. There's a little bit of an area back there, but they have some small windows that help out with it. So there's not a whole lot that is basically blocked from you in terms of visibility. Now that we're turning here, the steering feel on is actually pretty light and effortless. And it, like I said, it has that light zippy feeling and it just goes right where you want it to go. Like this car just boom, when you turn it, it just goes. It's, it's a very, very easy SUV to drive. It's not intimidating by any means. Now let's get an acceleration with this bad boy 3.2 liter V6. Okay, that was weird. Transmission took a second to gear down. So it goes through the gears quick enough, but it was kind of, I don't know if I just put my foot on the throttle weird, but it just, it took a minute to gear down. Other than that though, it accelerates very well. I don't really feel the need for more power, especially an SUV that's this small. To 
sum things up on the 2019 Cherokee, what I would say is if you're in the market for like a smaller size SUV, which most people are, so kind of like your Toyota RAV4, Honda CRV, that kind of size of SUV, the nice thing about the Jeep in this segment is, you know, they're all pretty similar price point wise, but the Jeep has a lot of really cool tech to it. And if you like the Jeep styling and obviously off-road capability, then it's definitely the better option to go for on that standpoint. Jeep just has such good heritage with that. And I just, I like this whole setup right here. It's so much easier to use than any of the other vehicles. And so if you are in the market for, you know, kind of like a normal sized SUV is what I would call it, then you have to check out one of these new Jeep Cherokees. And there we have it, everyone, the 2019 Cherokee Latitude Plus slash Altitude, kind of the same thing, but not really. Thank you everyone so much for watching. If you are stopping for the first time, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe, comment down below what you thought, and then again, a big shout out and thank you to Larry H. Miller, Jeep Chrysler here in Sandy for providing us with the vehicle. If you're in the market for a new Jeep, check these guys out, and I will see all of you in that next video.